Me and my dad used to play this game when I was younger, um, and not so young, where we used to see a car coming in the distance on the motorway and we'd, <laughs> we'd have to race to, to say what it was, what make, what model, what year we thought it was. So, um, I know, it sounds really fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I can tell you the headlights of a Mini a mile away if you stick a 1999 Volkswagen Golf in front of me, I'll be able to tell you what it is. I can tell you the difference between MGB, MGB GT, MGA, MG Midget. <laughs> So thanks dad, that's really useful. <laughs> My dad has always taught me to be strong no matter what. A couple of years ago he was diagnosed with cancer and he handled that with amazing strength. Like I wouldn't know what I would do in that situation. He's taught me how to be strong in those situations through God. Love you dad. My dad taught me that when you've got dimples you pretty much get your own way most of the time. So for my first set of hair straighteners, my mum kept saying no, and yet my dad couldn't resist these, and so I got them. And the problem is, it only works if the dimples are on your face. Yeah, so my dad taught me how to be an awesome encourager, and the way he did that was that no matter what was happening in our lives or what was happening in the lives of the people around us, that we would always be the ones to go and encourage and to always give an uplifting word, always talk about the things that God was doing. And Dad modelled this to me and my brothers and sisters and he did it wonderfully. And so he's known for it now and um, I hope I'm known for it too. I love you, Dad. My dad taught me to listen to God and do what he says. In 1980, he had a word from God to move from the Midlands up north and against Everyone's advice, he packed us all up, moved up north, got a new job, started uh, attending a new church, and really that decision just changed the trajectory of our lives. And so now I'm in this church with these people doing this awesome stuff with my wife and my children, who I would never have met if my dad hadn't have taught me to listen to God and do what he says. Thank you. Um, so the main thing my dad has taught me has to be work ethic. Um, so my parents came from Nigeria as first generation immigrants to this country. Um, and so they came to give us a head start in life as to what they never had. So I think it's just it's just work ethic to to work hard and to, you know, pursue anything that I wanna I wanna pursue, but do it wholeheartedly. Um, for the sake of like the glory of God and also for my parents as well. Hi there, what did my dad say to me? Well, a few things, but mainly with me it was what he did. I was inspired by what he did. He served in the church, he did everything. Put out the chairs, locked up, opened up, uh, did children's work, he preached, did everything. So I'm inspired by what, by what my dad did. Um, my dad has passed on to me maybe uh, the love of cricket, which I realise is a boring game, but um, it was like me and my dad's thing. Um, but he also gave me a desire for truth, like absolute truth, even if it's brutal, the honest kind of truth. Um, but his integrity was without question, and uh, I love that and passed that on. Um, I guess good rock music, my dad would always, whatever he was doing, have some good 70s kind of rock going on. Um, and a, a, a heart for the house, my dad was in church, faithful and kind of passed that on to me. Of some days, uh, you know, we give it to God and that's, that's a big thing for me and my family too. My dad taught me loads of things growing up. He was always really supportive and encouraged me to be myself, have fun while I'm doing it, always be creative. He was always dressing up and, you know, being a bit of a fool because he didn't want us to take things too seriously or get too worried about things. And I love him because he's great and he's awesome. My dad was always very honest and very committed. If if something was worth doing, he would give it 100%. And I think because of that, everything that I do 
I try and give my all into, give 100%, do everything to the best of my ability. Uh, and I'm always as honest about things as I can be, letting my yes be yes and my no be no. My dad taught me to be honest, open, and he's made me the man I am today by being honest and open himself. And those are the skills that he's shown me over the years. So one day I came in the house and I was seriously moody. I was fed up. I was just, just not in a good mood. And my dad looked at me and he said, let me tell you one thing. If a man wants you, if he loves you, he will move heaven and earth for you. Remember that. And at the time I was like, whatever dad, what do you know? You're an old man. I was about 23 at the time. And I remember about 10 years later, it came back to me, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Been through a series of not so good relationships and it came back to me. And I've held on to that word since. So thank you, dad. <laughs>